we're here at uh, our future home. We're going to be doing gas mat today because at PBS we only use the best products, so of course we're going to be using the gas mat. Uh, so we're going to be going around the entire perimeter. This is a walkout ramp, uh, and it's less than uh, uh, 2,000 square foot footprint, so we're only going to use one T-riser. Uh, it's a beautiful fall day here in Colorado, November 1st. We got a high of 32 degrees. Um, but we're gonna get it done. So here we go. <laughs> All right, so here we have a roll of PDS's soil gas collector mat. So this radon mat, vapor intrusion mat, is different than most of them on the market. Uh, one, because it's one inch thick. So here we've got the poly extruded core uh, with the dimples, kind of the egg crate dimples. This allows it so that if any uh, concrete aggregate should fit one of these dimples, really well it's going to open up the one next to it so you have perfect pressure field extension with radon mitigation you're always wanting pressure field extension which is how far away from your suction point you can grab radioactive gas so these this mat is 12 inches wide by one inch thick by 45 feet long so we're going to go around the entire perimeter of the home eventually we're going to put it into a t-riser plumb it up to four inch schedule 40 pipe once all the concrete is cured all you're going to see is a little hole for forage that's it totally hidden right on ready If you can hold them low, keep them straight, while you start them, you'll have less chance of bending the staple. Uh, we're going in an alternating pattern to try and keep the edges down. Uh, you could do a center pattern or you could do two. Uh, we find that the alternating pattern is going to work just fine. You just want to keep this from floating up and getting a lot of concrete beneath it before it cures. So you want to keep this as tight to the soil as you can. So every once in a while, we'll put them right next to each other. That one started to bend, but because I was holding it, it was able to continue on. this scrap piece is the perfect length we're not gonna be able to do a 45 on the corner but what we can do again is we making our own puzzle pieces peel back the felt fabric this overlaps perfectly that's a perfectly good corner once we get it all taped up easy peasy you guys are here we got a scrap piece that's gonna be perfect so with your t-riser the mat conveniently slides right into here and then you have to tape it real well we're gonna put it in there and tape it then eventually We'll take the one foot steel spike, strike it through the T-riser once we got Mac going out both sides. And then in this home, once the, once the slab is completely poured, all it's gonna be showing is the top right here for four inch schedule 40. So this is how high the slab's gonna go. So we're gonna tape this really, really well so that no concrete gets in. And then when the home's complete, we'll come back in a couple weeks in framing. 
We're gonna bring the four inch schedule 40 straight up, elbow it into the garage, and then straight up the wall in the garage and through the attic. Easy peasy. two hours with a lot of breaks to take little videos. You'd probably go a little bit quicker uh, if you weren't making tutorials. Um, but yeah, we're here. We're ready to pour the foundation for our classic home in Colorado Springs. Uh, throughout our, all of our research, Classic seemed to be the only home builder in town that really knew about radon math, that was educated on it. Uh, so we'd highly recommend them to anybody else looking to build radon ready in town. Classic seemed to know more than than anybody. Any other builder. Yeah, they were really good. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we're pretty happy. They're going to pour in two days. Yay!